of hello friends welcome back i missed you all i have come out of retirement not kidding i've been taking some time off due to some minor surgery but i've come back just because today's news are so big we have to cover them right now timing is indeed of the essence and i'm speaking about nothing other than the announcement of aurora plus for a few days now maybe a few weeks there's been some teasing on the Twitter sphere about Aurora Plus. Some people made some analogies with Google Plus, and it was probably not the best analogy to make. But today, we know for sure that the real analogy should have been Apple. So in a release that was live streamed, and it actually really did resemble an Apple product release, we found out about some features that will change the future of Web3 forever. This introduces some novel things. And anyway, the real announcement was actually really good. And I would strongly encourage you to see it. Alex and uh, Matt Henderson, who has an uncanny similarity with Tim Cook. They've done a fantastic job at presenting a professional blockchain that inspires people to think of what could be. So in this video, we'll be covering what is Aurora in case you're not familiar why this matters, what problem is Aurora Plus trying to solve. And then we're going to do a deep dive into the actual Aurora Plus experience. I've been lucky enough to receive an invitation code. So we'll see exactly how it looks and feels so that you are ready to jump on board. So why Aurora Plus? We need to start with what Aurora is. Aurora is an EVM or an Ethereum virtual machine deployed on top of Near. So at first glance, Aurora really is just like any other EVM, and there is another of them out there. Starting with Binance Smart Chain, all the way to the Layer 2s on top of Ethereum, Polygon, Arbitrum, to the Phantoms of the World, C-Chain on Avalanche. There is no shortage of EVMs that are basically chains that re replicate Ethereum as we know it on an environment where it can allegedly actually scale and grow. The things that started making Aurora unique, although perhaps it not gather as much attention as it should have, is it because Aurora is deployed on top of Near, it inherits Near's usability and security. It is able to scale with dynamic sharding, and we could see on the roadmap early on that there were plans to bring over the Near user experience to Aurora. This was something that really caught my attention back in the day because the user experience of Near is amazing. You've got human readable accounts. You're able to pay for transaction costs on behalf of users. You're able to pre-approve transactions. You're really able to replicate Web2 experiences on Web3. So for a long time, I've been really curious to see how Aurora was going to emulate some of these things. And this is some pretty strong foreshadowing for Aurora Plus. But there is one more big problem that Aurora had to solve. See, from day one, there were some pretty good debates on the Near Governance Forum in regards to the base currency for Aurora, namely the token that users would need to pay for gas. Most EVMs require their own token to pay for gas. If you go to Polygon, you need Matic. If you go to Binance Smart Chain, you need BSC. Off it goes. But in Aurora, because the aim and the objective has always been to focus on the user experience, we didn't really want to inject an extra currency on top, and we didn't want to make it about near. Aurora is there to expand the Ethereum ecosystem. So there was a very conscious decision made, slightly controversial at the time, but now I think it was 100% the correct decision to use Ethereum as a base currency for Aurora. Now, there is some wizardry happening on the background. So the Ethereum gets paid to the nodes and the nodes convert to near because every transaction in Aurora burns near. Long story short, this presents us with amazing user experience and an ease of converting even applications from Ethereum to Aurora because you don't even have to change the base currency that the application uses. However, it does present us with a challenge. Namely, what does the Aurora token actually do? We know that every project and their dog, when they create a token, we all claim it's a governance token, and some people may find value in a governance token, but the governance models really need to be refined. The truth is, we don't really have much real governance going on, and there is a real challenge in maintaining and increasing the value of a currency 
when it doesn't have a simple to understand model, such as you need it to pay for gas and it is burned. Now, this is a bigger problem than it looks because obviously we've got a lot of Aurora tokens that need to find a use case, but also if we're able to solve this problem, then the opportunity is two or three or five times bigger than the problem. Why? Because with the near blockchain, we basically printed a billion tokens out of thin air, and these tokens are now being used as incentives and rewards to drive growth. On Aurora, now we have the opportunity, if this token has a proper use case and it is able to maintain an accrued value, to also have another bunch of tokens to incentivize user behavior and drive growth. So now we've got one ecosystem which is very closely connected and two big piles of coins to be able to encourage user behavior. Enter Aurora Plus. So if I had to summarize Aurora Plus in one sentence, it is the beginning of the end for other blockchains. Aurora Plus starts to introduce very novel and I'd say unique user experiences for an EVM. It starts to enable builders using Solidity and the EVM environment to create experiences that resemble Web 2.0. And this is not to diminish the importance of Web 3. We're actually taking the best of both worlds. We want these applications to be decentralized. We want them to be resilient. We want them to be immutable, but we also want them to be usable by everyday people. So with Aurora Plus, we're introducing that new user experience, which I think is going to melt faces. And we're also introducing a very clear pathway for the Aurora token to drive the growth of the ecosystem. So let's dive into the blog post. I'll be linking to the blog post and the presentation on the show notes. I would strongly suggest that you go watch the original presentation because it is amazing to see how the evolution from a standard blockchain there for crypto bros to a blockchain for mass adoption that enables people to have really good user experiences and build real businesses in a way that can scale and it's accessible and it's affordable and it's usable. It starts with the branding and the presentation and the level of care that goes into this presentation, even though it can probably originally be mocked a little bit because it is a little bit too Apple, I think that in hindsight, will be seen as a major milestone of blockchains getting closer to mass adoption. So enjoy the presentation of this life-changing event. Now, jumping onto the blog post. Aurora Plus sets the blockchain free. Aurora announces Aurora Plus, an exciting new platform providing Aurora users with free transactions, staking of Aurora token, airdrops, and more. So the first thing we notice here is that the announcement is actually split into two stages. The first one are the things that are available right now. And the second one are things that we can look out for in the future and that will probably make you want to get involved as soon as possible. Aurora Plus. And then we repeat the header. Aurora Plus sets the blockchain free. As new participants of Web3 discover, however, Web3 is terribly complicated with technical challenges every step of the way. This would be referring to the MetaMask and Save Your Seed phrase and Approve 19 steps and needing to have like dozens of dollars to approve basic transactions. The world has had rapid technological advancement due to the work done by the Googles and the Facebooks of the world that have primed us to expect smooth, simple experiences. The clear opportunity now is bridging the innovative world of Web 3 with the convenience and familiarity of Web 2.0. Dun dun dun! Today, we're excited to unveil the bridge. Aurora Plus. What is Aurora Plus? Aurora Plus is an exciting new membership program for users of Aurora that provide a suite of incredible benefits. Available today, all Aurora users can sign up for a free basic account. A free basic account includes 50 free transactions per month. One of the biggest user experience hurdles throughout all of crypto is understanding and dealing with transaction fees. Aurora Plus eliminates this problem, settling the blockchain free. We're going to have a drinking game to have a shot every time that it says such in the blockchain free. But I guess it is important. It is a big message to drive home. It is worth mentioning that Aurora Plus is a really good iteration on the initial attempt to have the transactions on Aurora be free. 
I think that having thrifty transactions make it an excellent entry point for most users. And once you become a degenerate like myself or a proficient user, be it of a game or whatever building on the blockchain, then you start exploring more premium plans or have the ability to pay. Second, Aurora staking. Aurora Plus members who stake Aurora tokens will enjoy not only a continuous stream of Aurora rewards, but also stream of rewards from the best projects throughout the Aurora ecosystem. This bit is important, and I'm not reading from the screen for this one. The Aurora IDO was actually tiny. There is a very little supply of Aurora on the market, and this is important for two reasons. The first one, the Aurora team has a huge challenge of finding the most equitable ways of distributing the remaining Aurora tokens to the community. And the second is that because the current supply of Aurora is so limited, spikes in demand could actually pump the price. So we can see that with the Aurora staking, we're actually tackling both in some ways. It is creating a direct use case for Aurora tokens. So we all have an incentive now to go and buy the market to stake. And it is creating a mechanism whereby early adopters and supporters of the blockchain will be rewarded disproportionately. That is you and I, the few hundred people that watch these videos and that are going to jump on Aurora Plus over the next six weeks we will be receiving a lot of tokens. As if the staking was not enough, there will also be an airdrop. To ensure that all Aurora Plus members experience the benefits of Aurora staking, everyone who creates an account on Aurora Plus during the first week of launch will be presented with an opportunity to claim and stake an Aurora airdrop. Brilliant, even more ways to reward early adopters. Here we have a clear call to action, create an account, and we're time binding it. So you have to create an account within the first seven days. Most important of all, when we're looking at distributing large amounts of tokens, we want to make sure that they don't all hit the market at the same time because it could have the negative effect of just plummeting the price. It seems like all the airdrop tokens will have to be staked, which is actually quite a smart way to do it. Now, you may be wondering, okay, cool, I've got a free account. What the hell do I do with all these Aurora tokens that I am earning? Or why should I seriously consider buying some Aurora tokens? And this is where things start to get wild. Because even though Aurora is different and so far superior to all the other EVMs, we've got fast, free, and very cheap uh, transactions. And now things start to get truly differentiated. Let's move on to the stage, to what I call stage two. These are the benefits available today. In the future, Aurora will continue to evolve the Aurora Plus platform with foreseen features like paid premium plans. Perhaps you need more than 50 transactions per month. You will 100% need more than 50 transactions per month. Never underestimate all the things you can do on a cheap and fast blockchain. And also the amount of people building on Aurora and then your ecosystem. Perhaps you're a trader and you need your transaction prioritized. Hmm. Just as with mobile phone services, Aurora Plus Premium Plans allow, will allow users to access the features and services that exactly fit their needs. Now, this really catches my interest because, once again, we're drawing parallels between the Web 2 world and having a real business plan and a real company and real services that target specific customer segments to increase and maximize the value specific to them. This is unseen in the blockchain before. it. Number two governance participation. Aurora Plus members who stake Aurora will be eligible to participate in the governance of the Aurora protocol through participation in the Aurora DAO. This one is big. I guess it's not super novel, like we already knew that Aurora was a governance token. I guess it is really nice to see a clear framework like Curve VE style words, whereby the people that stake their Aurora will have the power to participate in the governance transactions. Three. Private transactions. And this is where things start getting wild. By this point of the presentation, my mind was flipping. Private transactions. Given the technical underpinnings between Aurora and the new protocol, Aurora Plus will roll out a solution to the Ethereum dark forest problems related to transactions analysis and front running. Now, Alex Shevenko explained this one in really simple terms in the original presentation. Basically, he talks about the challenge of having all the transactions waiting in the mempool while being processed in such a way that they can be analyzed and being front run, meaning that somebody else could put a transaction with a higher gas limit that gets processed first 
and takes advantage of the information that you've given them with your transaction before yours gets processed. I think it's a little bit technical, but I think that the takeaway here is private transactions are so important, especially for business use cases. There's just a lot of information that you do not want to have disclosed. And one of the main things that I like here is that this is a specific feature that it is only possible because of the near stack and the near underlying technology. As far as I am aware, at least not in this current setup, this is not something that other EVMs that have other underlying chains will be able to replicate easily. And fourth, and this is very big as well, especially when we start looking at like business use cases and Web2 companies wanting to have a Web3 presence, single point KYC. I know that initially Web3 users are like, fuck KYC, but this is very novel for several reasons. Aurora Plus will offer optional KYC from within the user's dashboard, recording the results on the blockchain and making them available to any dApps in the Aurora ecosystem that require KYCs. If I understand this correctly, I think that we're actually reaching a new era of KYC whereby it is actually decentralized in the sense that you provide your information, it is recorded and validated on the blockchain. The information, the validated information can be provided to the application but you don't actually have to submit your documents, your private documents, which you may want to safeguard to all these different applications that you may or may not trust. So I think that as far as mass adoption goes, this is also huge. Aurora is working to optimize the user experience, not only for its users, but for its ecosystem of apps and platforms as well. Boom, bang on. Now, just to wrap this one off, and I think I'll make the step-by-step -step a separate part two, there is also Aurobots. If you are into NFTs, we've got something for you, sir. In the famous words of Steve Jobs, we are excited to announce there is one more thing. To celebrate the launch of Aurora Plus, Aurora is giving away NFTs from an amazing new collection called Aurobots. The creator is well known in the near ecosystem and it is none other than Mr. Brown. There are only 111 unique Aurobot NFTs that will be randomly distributed to lucky winners, I'd say extremely lucky winners, that is a tiny amount, in multiple lotteries corresponding to platform milestones during the first few weeks of launch. And in addition to owning a fantastic NFT, Aurobot holders will benefit from a 10x boost of the monthly free transactions. Damn, that's going to create a very hot market for Aurobots. So I'm going to wrap this video here. Please tune in for part Two, where we're going to jump step by step on how to sign up for Aurora Plus and how the dashboard looks like. Thanks so much for your attention and I'll see you soon.